Hello there, my name is Dominic and today I will show you how to use the colored buttons on any LG TV remote control. And these are arranged from the left as red, green, yellow and blue. And in some remote controls, they usually have some dots, like on these two remote controls. From the left you have the red with one dot, the green with two dots, the yellow with three dots and finally the blue with four dots. The main purpose of these dots is for colorblind people. But not all remote controls have these dots. You can see my service remote control. This one and the magic remote control over here do not have those dots labeled on the colors. So today I will teach you how to correctly use these colored buttons on LG TV remote controls. If you take a look at your TV manual, you will notice that these buttons are labeled as colored buttons and they do special functions. So today in this video, I'll teach you how to correctly use these buttons on your LG TV. Normally when you press these buttons, you will notice that nothing actually happens on the TV even though the remote control is working. You can see that the volume is working. So the TV is going to guide you on how to use these special colored buttons. Now, for example, if I press the settings or menu button, at the bottom right, you can see the red button with one dot. So if I press the red button with one dot, I will get this new menu. And if I go to the bottom over here, I can see the product or the service information. And you can see the model number, serial number, and software version of this TV. Now, I forgot to mention this is another method on how to check your LG TV model number and serial number in a video that I did a while back on how to check LG TV model and serial numbers. So I will add this to that list. The red customer support button has some other features which I know you will check in your own spare time. Next, I'm going to press the input button or the source button. And at the bottom, you can see many more special function buttons. I'm going to press the red one. That is for the input label. You can change the input label over here. For example, I can set HDMI 1 to set of box, then I close. The green one is for Simplink. I think I have a whole other video about Simplink. I will post that in the video description below. The other button is on program mode. I can change this TV from antenna to cable or satellite or the other way around. Another place where you can use the special function buttons is if you come to setup and select program edit, you can see many more special functions. We have the red one for program mode, the green one for skip, the yellow one for block and unblock, and the blue one for program number edit. And I think I have another video about how to do this, and I will link that in the video description below. It's about how to delete channels on LG televisions. Now, for example, I can block this number 71 channel by simply pressing the yellow button over here. And my password is 0000, and that program is blocked. Next, we're going to check at least. And at the top, you can see the blue button with the four dots. If I press the blue button with the four dots over here, I can see this sub menu with favorite groups, digital television, and radio. Again, in the list menu, I have this red button at the bottom with the program mode. If I press the red button, I will get the program mode again, where I can change this TV from satellite to cable or antenna or the other way around. So that is how you use the special function buttons on LG TVs. Now, I like this method with the dots because it's very much easy for colorblind people to use these buttons effectively. Again, if you check here, you can see that the magic remote control does not have these dots. This is a smart TV and let us see how to use the special function buttons on a smart TV. I'm going to first of all use this normal remote and then I will use the magic remote control. If I press the list button, I can see the special functions on the top right corner over here. We have red, green, and we have yellow. And I don't like this because it's very hard for colorblind people to differentiate between red and green. Let us try the green button. And the green button is going to open the TV guide. And at the top over here, you can see that green icon. If I press the green icon, I can enter into filter mode. I can select between digital TV, radio, favorite groups, and so on. So I'm just going to select all. And if I press the yellow button, I will select watch. So that will bring me to this main page. Let's press list again. And over here, you can see that now yellow has changed to search. If I press the yellow button, it will open up this search bar at the bottom. And this is where the magic remote control usually comes in handy because with this, I can actually type what I want. If I select the program manager, 
I don't have any special function buttons on this menu because this is quite intuitive. You just use the pointer and these buttons at the top here. So the special function buttons are not used that much on smart television as they are used on digital televisions. So that's it. I hope you learned something new today. Let's meet in the next video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.